The name Omni came from omnipotent and omniscient and omnivore. When you put Omni before it's a word, that means all of that word. So I use Omni to represent artistic versatility. I kept drawing from I was a, a child and my uncle saw that I could paint when my mother brought some watercolors and I used them to paint an aquarium. I used to love to stare at aquariums for hours and I wanted to show people the, the love I got from looking at the aquariums. So that was the first thing I ever drew, I ever painted. My uncle, early Etienne, got excited and he gave me some acrylic paint and canvas and, and he told me to, to paint. When, when babies are born, they draw on walls and so on. But some people, they just stop when they see that people laugh at their work and so on. But I just kept going. I started making money from doing sign work for people and commission portraits and, and tattoos. And my friends really love tattoos, so I guess I practiced on them. They were my, my lab rats. I got my first tattoo when I was 13 years old and I did it myself. So my first tattoo is actually this one and it's still in primitive form. I never put a machine on it. I did all my tattoos except the one here and the other one, the big one on my back. And then I went to art school and I really didn't regret it. What you really get from college or university you're not really taught there, but they encourage you to teach yourself. So I learned to think and I learned to teach myself. So now my work has a lot more meaning now and uh, they are more conceptual. I really don't like to do the same thing over and over and over. I like to diversify. I'm not a specialist, so I also enjoy doing portraits and I keep trying to step out of my comfort zone. So it's not just painting or drawing. I also work on wood which is somewhat different. I use wood stain on the wood to preserve the, the grains. So instead of, of just painting over the wood and destroying the, the makeup of the wood, I actually use the wood to tell me and, and, and inform what the art should look like. I can't really speak for all artists, but I can speak for myself. And my role as an artist is to actually get people to love and understand and appreciate nature more so that they will protect it. I can't go very long without creating something because I actually get anxiety from not working. I was so addicted to the work and the adrenaline. So yeah, I need to keep working. Can't stay very long without working. Can make me really sick. I dislike anything boring. I much prefer something that's very difficult and exciting to do. I would rather do that than something that's very easy and boring and repetitive. So I really can't do boring. Yeah, the studio started off as a house and I just felt cramped up. So in renovating, I decided to tear down all the walls so I could get space to breathe. So I wanted every part of it to just be inspirational and to be different. The windows were inspired by the yin-yang symbol, and I made the flaps to represent eyes that you could look through. So I experiment with a lot of different mediums, and recently I even started using concrete on the wall. I, I plaster the wall and I create an artwork. After the mason resurfaced the floor, I dug out a silhouette of my logo, and I refilled it with red cement and I decorated my logo with some spontaneous tribal effect. I created my sink in the bathroom with the resin and it's actually a concrete landscape or riverscape. It actually looks like there's water there or, or glass. Fortunately, I have always been self-employed. If I wasn't doing art, and uh, expressing myself creatively every single day. Since art is life, I would be dead.